this video is a special request from someone that I love so much is my friend, my beautiful friend. I think she's my soulmate, but she doesn't know. She she will know now. This is dedicated to a good friend of mine. Her name is Addie. I'm gonna put her picture right here because she's so beautiful and amazing and I love her so much. She had requested me, uh, she seen this picture of me on my Instagram and on my Snapchat. Now I am going to link all my social medias down below. She had seen that picture and she wanted me to create, recreate this look for her. And it's funny because I was actually planning to recreate it and record it for you guys, but she went ahead and asked. So I decided to just record today. It's getting really cloudy in here and I'm getting frustrated, but I love this makeup look. I am going to show you guys uh, just the eyes mostly and then I did my contour and my highlight and the lipstick color um, in the video so I just decided to just put my foundation and all that stuff in my eyebrows so I could rush the video a little bit because her birthday is on October 8th and she wanted to recreate this look for her birthday so I am going to try and edit this as soon as possible for her uh, don't forget to thumbs up this video and also every detail and every little product I use on this video is going to be on the description box. As always, you will never have a problem with that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for Addie, happy birthday. Charlene loves you so, so much and let's just jump right to the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. So to begin this eye look tutorial, I am going to start by moisturizing my lips. I am going to be using the Bestium Lip Mask by Nicole Guerrero. She's a famous YouTuber on YouTube and this lip mask is everything you guys. If you want to review, just let me know. Uh, next, I am going to be taking the Perfecting Eyeshadow Primer by, by Black Radiance. It's probably one of my favorite um, eye primers so far because it's really, really heavy and it lasts, my eyeshadow lasts all day. So I am going to be applying this a little bit only on my eye socket because that's the only area that it gets oily the most and yes somebody was actually eyeing me so hard <laughs> through the window next i am going to be taking this mocha brownish chocolate uh, color and i am loving this eyeshadow so much I'm going to leave the link down below where you can buy this color and I am also going to make a blog post just showing you guys different colors that you can use. I am going to start using this BH Cosmetics blending brush and I am going to apply this all over my crease. surprise of the quality of this eyeshadow for be a dollar I am going to again leave every information about these eyeshadows and I also have a haul coming up so stay tuned to that <music> color palette and I am going to be using this color that looks kind of like burgundy it reminds me of garnet by the Lorac palette I am going to apply that right below of the brown eyeshadow that I just applied on my eyelid just so I could add some dimension and some some shimmer around the eye look <laughs> and I am going to start applying these two colors from the clean color palette just to add some shimmer on my eyebrow bone to make it pop now I am taking my blending brush and I am blending that out just to remove some harshness around the eyebrow bone and on the crease 
Next, I am taking the Special Occasion 39 Color Eyeshadow Blush Palette by BH Cosmetics, and I am taking this broken eyeshadow that came in broken, you guys, because I got this off a, off a store. I am going to be applying this all over my lid. <laughs> and I am a clean blending brush and now I'm going to blend out any harshness and now I am taking the Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics and I am going to be taking this dark brown matte color and I am going to apply it around on the outer corners of my eyelid <laughs> shadow that I first applied which you was having a struggle opening I am going to start blending a little bit more just to remove any harshness of the dark matte brown eyeshadow since I didn't had since I'm on vacations I don't have a the perfect black eyeliner I am going to be taking this LA uh, LA colors black pencil and I am going to start tightening tightening my water lash line and also my water lash line it sucks I <laughs> it hurts so bad. Maybe it's because I have sensitive eyes, right? Now I am taking my favorite eyeliner in the whole entire world. This is an NYC liquid eyeliner. And I am going to make my wing eye. My cat eye, actually. My cat eye. My my cat eye wasn't perfect, but I didn't mind because my eye socket kind of bends a lot, so you don't see the the mistake that I did on the eye um, on the cat eye. Because if you notice, it gets one is a little bit thicker, which is this one right here. But since, like I said, my eye socket gets you know it, it folds a lot, you cannot see it, so it's fine. It's not like I'm gonna be walking with my eyes closed the whole entire time and you won't see it. So there you go. Again with the Carly Bible palette, and I was keep, I kept looking because the weather was getting worse, and I was worried about the color. I mean about the color and brightness of the video. Taking that brown matte shadow again, and I'm adding some more dimension to my eyelid. The card uh, with the BH Cosmetics special occasions, I am applying the same colors right on my lower lash line. To add a pop of color, I am using those two colors because I didn't want it to look too. To, I didn't want it to, this eye look to look a little bit way too dark, so I wanted to add some pop of color. So what better than to use shimmery, bright, pearly colors on my lids? <laughs> taking one of my favorite mascaras which is the falsies by Maybelline and I am going to start applying two fair amounts on my lashes Now I'm going to fast forward the rest of my contouring and all that good stuff. I hope Addie loves this video and I hope she enjoys this makeup tutorial for her. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. The rest is just my contouring and all that good stuff. 
Everything is going to be written on the description box in case if you have any questions. So don't forget to thumbs up this video for more videos, upcoming videos and more. And thank you guys so much for the love and support. And until next time, because my voice is really, really raspy. It's just really humid in Florida and my voice sounds really, really sucky. So ew. I'll talk to you guys later. By the way, happy birthday, Addy. I love you. Enjoy this video. Bye. Good sheep.